Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to the Not Too Shabby YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a quick and easy gift tag holder that has a slide up mechanism when you open it. It's really super cute and also easy. There are no dies needed to make it. We're gonna start with a piece of cardstock that measures four inches by 11, and then we're gonna score that at two and a fourth and seven and a half on the long side. I'm going to then rotate this and score it on the short side with that larger scored flap at the top. I'm gonna to score it at a half an, in, half an inch on both sides, stopping at the intersecting score line, but you could score all the way down and then trim away the excess with your scissors. I'm going to put this in my paper trimmer at half an inch on that right hand side and cut down stopping at that scored line because there are these two sections that we need to cut away their excess but if you scored it all the way down you could use those scored lines as a guide to cut away these excess pieces that you don't need so whichever works best for you you can do it either way just as easy i like to snip mine off at an angle because then i don't have to worry about the corner of these tabs getting in the way and they will look just like that and that's how we're going to adhere this pocket together. Next, we need an insert that measures two and three fourths by five and one eighth. We're gonna score the top of it at a half of an inch and that's it, it's ready to go. So now we're going to fold on the score lines and get this pocket ready to go. I have folded in my tabs where I will add some double stick tape on both of those tabs and that's what's gonna hold the pocket shut. So once that's in place, we peel off the liner and those will get folded back. And then you just close this to pick up the back piece and it'll stick right to those tabs. And we have a pocket now for our insert. The top gets folded down and then we're going to put the insert in. I made sure and fold that top flap on the insert back and forth so it will move very easily. Then I'll add double stick tape to the top flap there on the insert. I'll remove the backing paper. And then once I make sure that it is centered in the pocket, I can close the top flap and pick up that adhesive. Now when I open and close this, it pulls that insert up and down out of the pocket. Pretty cool. Very easy to do, right? All right, so now it's time to make it cute. I have some patterned paper here. You can see the measurements on the screen to fit this pocket. And it is from the Let It Shine pack, the original Let It Shine pack from Lawn Fawn. They redid it this year, so it has snowflakes in it. Any pattern paper that you have would do here. Now, before I put the paper on the top flap, I have this little tiny flat magnet that I'm adding to the flap. And then I'll take a second magnet and um, I'm adhering these with glue dots. So I'm putting a glue dot on the back. I'm going to leave the paper on the back of the glue dot and make sure these two magnets are stuck together. Then I can peel the backing off of that glue dot and stick that second magnet down to the base of this pocket. So now that magnet is going to keep this gift card holder shut. Now I'll add my second piece of pattern paper to the top and using pattern paper on this quick and easy gift card holder makes it quick and easy. Like you don't have to stamp it, you don't have to ink blend it. Just pull out some pattern paper that you have to make this cute and you can make it for Christmas, birthday, thank you gift, anything. These gift card holders can be used for any occasion. I used this scalloped slimline die because I love the size of these tiny scallops for a little detail on the edge of my gift card holder. Now you could make these gift card holders as easy as, you want. Simple, not a lot of embellishment, or you can really go to town and dress it up. One of the things I'm using to dress mine up is this die set, the gift box die set from Lawn Fawn, and I'm going to use just the bow to add to the top of this to make it look like a present. So what I need to do is curl the bow pieces with my crease tool, then use some glue dots. I like glue dots and glue. Just in case I need to scoot it around, I can, but then the glue dots are there for that long-term hold, and or extra hold, glue works really well too. 
So just use what you're comfortable with. You fold those bows into the middle and then wrap that centerpiece around and then you can add the tails to it if you like as well. So more glue dots for that and they stick right behind that bow covering up the little part that you wrapped around the middle. Looks like that, it's super cute. If you don't have this die set or a bow die set, you could easily just tie a piece of ribbon and stick this right to the gift card holder and that would be just as cute. Now I'm going to add a little scene to mine, but like I said, you could keep this really simple. But I love this new stamp set from Lawn Fun, Joy to All, and I thought it would be really cute to make a little scene right on the front of this, like I would do with a card, just to make it a little bit more special. So I have these images already colored and die cut out because me and my daughter sat stamped and colored while we were watching A Christmas Carol, the the original one, well, or one of the older ones anyway. I know there's lots of versions, but it was a really fun thing to do for Christmas and we enjoyed it, so I highly recommend that. Sit and do some card making or coloring and watch a Christmas movie. It's the perfect holiday thing to do. So I'm just decorating this tree with the little ornaments that come in the stamp set. There's also garland you could add to this tree. I think it's so, so cute. I'm going to stamp Joy to All from this set in some lobster ink, and then I'm just gonna use my scissors to cut this out. Um, I don't find any stress in doing this, but if you do, you can totally use a banner die to do this. I like to flag the little end with my scissors by snipping in the middle and then cutting from the corner to the top of that snip on both sides. And there I have the little flagged end and it's gonna tuck right underneath my little bow just like that. I think it looks really cute. I kinda curved up the ends of the tails there. And look at that, I have my gift card holder. And to secure the gift card to that insert, just add a couple glue dots to the back. It will stick nicely, but also is easily to remove for the recipient. So there you can see when you open and close the gift card holder, it slides up out of the pocket and yet it's secure. And you could also write your personalized message right on the back of the gift card holder if you like, or that top flap too. Now I just thought I needed one more ornament at the top of this tree to finish it off and I love the look. So that is my slide up or pop up gift card holder. Very easy to do and great for your last minute gift giving. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, let us know with a thumbs up or a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to the Not Too Shabby channel. We have new videos all the time. You can find the Not Too Shabby shop linked for you in the description box below. Below. It's a great place to shop for Lawn Fawn products as well as original not too shabby supplies and products as well. I will see you all again very soon. Happy stamping! Bye!